Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, we will uh, talk about edit edge hardening. This is going to be episode 2 of the security and hardening for Opsin series. And before we get started, I just want to give a proper credit to uh, Positron Security, I might say it's wrong, I apologize, uh, and Matthew Simon uh, for making their uh, edit edge hardening guide for Opsins and again this is a uh, apply for Opsin 20.7 and newer if you have an older version uh, this tutorial might not work for you and with that let's get started from Opsin dashboard you would navigate it to uh, system and you will select uh, settings and under administrations we would go down to uh, uh, secure shell and you would uh, enable uh, secure shell do not permit uh, root user login as well as do not permit uh, password login I'm going to show you how to log in with the uh, authorized key and for the edit edit edge port if you uh, use the default you can uh, skip it blank however I do recommend it that you set it to um, random one for this tutorial, I'm gonna set it to triple uh, two. Um, however, this is not the one I'm using for mine. Uh, there are a lot of discussion about you know using the default and not using the default. Uh, it's totally up to you how you like to use this. And uh, personally, I don't want to have a lot of automated uh, tools that crawling in the internet scanning for the default port um, that reduce the lock. Uh, I think that's the only purpose I'm using it for. Uh, beside that, if somebody really want to tag it, you they can uh, scan it with the end map or whatnot, and it's gonna reveal what port is open on your network anyway. So it don't really matter in that sense. But unless you are a public company or private company, whatnot, um, nobody really gonna attack you except for there is an automated automated tool out there that's scanning for like the default port. So in that sense, you 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 able to uh, rotate yourself by changing the default uh, port 22. And once you've done that, you're gonna select uh, set. And before I show you how to hardening the edit edge server for your options, I'm gonna show you how I audited my edit edge server. And if you're interested in how to do that, uh, I have a separate tutorial for that. The link gonna be included in the description. So the tool I use is, is called edit edge uh, dash audit. I'm gonna run it on uh, this server. It's gonna be the IP address, and if you have a uh, you, you don't use the default port, you will specify your port number. So these are the algorithm that they not recommended you to use it votable to a certain kind of thing um, for example this one the ECDH uh, HA2 uh, NIT P256 uh, as they said it over there it might be you know backdoored by the NSA uh, so these uh, the goal is to minimize all the yellow and of course we want to get rid of all the red one and with that i'm going to show you how to uh, do that and we're going to run the test one more time at the end and everything should be re after that all right we should be in the same uh, area system settings and administrations and under secure shell you would uh, select the show uh, cryptographic uh, override and here's uh, the all the algorithm that you need to set for the key exchange, the cipher, the max, uh, the hot keys, and the public key signature. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, but you can refer to my written tutorial as well. The link gonna be down in the descriptions. So first, we're gonna select the key exchange algorithm, and at Matthew Simon status, it does you would select the strongest infested options and 
it depends on your client, both the server and the client, what uh, algorithm the server and the client supporting. You might have to go uh, to the lower encryptions or uh, algorithm that you know in the you have to meet in the middle. So both the client and the server can connect with each other. All right. So right here we're gonna go with the fastest and the strongest one. So we're gonna select uh, Delphi Hellman. Uh, Route 16, 18, and Defi Hellman uh, Route Exchange at NA 256, and as well at the three in the bottom, uh, Kurt 25519. There we go. And next, we're gonna select the cipher. So, for the cipher, we're gonna select uh, AES 1. 20A CTR and all the way down. All right, and next is uh, the Mac. We're gonna select uh, at uh, HMAC at HA2, 256 and 512. And for the Husky algorithm, you will select uh, the first two at HED uh, ED uh, 25519. And lastly, for the public key uh, signature, you will select the top two as well. And once you've done that, we're going to go all the way down and select set. All right. And now we're going to run our test one more time. And notice. It's uh, all read now after we run the rerun the security audit, everything should be read. And lastly, I will show you how to generate a public and private key pair from a client side. So that's why you can connect it with the edit edge server without having using the username and password. Instead, we're going to use the, uh, the pass key for the um, edit edge public key that we uh, generated. All right, and if you're on uh, Macs or Linux, you would open up uh, Terminal. And if you are on uh, Windows, you would open up a uh, command prompt. Uh, the command is pretty similar, except for the, the last step. Uh, if you have issue with uh, generating the key, uh, make sure you follow my uh, written tutorial. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to generate the key on Mac OS. However, I include it in my written tutorial. Uh, how you generate it on a Mac OS, Linux, or on Windows. So make sure to check out the Rington tutorial if you're not using Mac OS operating system. And with that, let's get started. First, we're going to use the make dirt command to create the directory where we're going to store the key that we're going to generate it. All right. And next, we're going to use the cd command or chain directory to chain the directory to that new directory we just created and we're gonna do the edit h dash keygen dash t and the algorithm for the key that we're gonna generate uh, keep in mind that it depends on what you set under the public key signature algorithm that the our same algorithm that you have to use to generate the key uh, if you generate anything outside of the one that you selected uh, the server and not going to accept it. So both on the server and the client side, you have to match. All right, so we're going to generate for ED25519. All right, and we're going to name the key. So this is I created for the username sysadmin102. So I'm going to call it sysadmin102. And uh, you're going to create a password or the password for this. The key is only good if you have a strong pass key. Depend on the encryption. Certain uh, if you have like a weak pass key, it can be um, cracked. So make sure that you have a strong pass key. All right. So now it generated. The next step is you're gonna read the uh, dot pub file. So that's where you get the public key. Uh, so on uh, Linux or Mac OS, you can use the cat command. If you're on Windows, you can use the type command. 
So we're gonna cat pop. All right. And this is the key that we're gonna assign to the user. So this way I can uh, log in using the public key and the passphrase instead of using a username and password, which is more secure. All right, and going back to option, we're gonna select access and users. And under sysadmin102, we're gonna select uh, edit. And under authorize key, you're gonna paste it in there. And we're gonna select uh, save and go back. And that's how you uh, set the authorize key for your user. Next, I'm gonna show you how to connect to the server. So to connect to the server, uh, you can use a command edit h and dash i. Keep in mind that when you're using this command, you have to be in the folder where the key located. So um, if you open up the new window, you need to locate the folder uh, or the directory where the key located in order to use this command. And then the name of the edit h key, which is we can call it sysadmin102. And then next is going to be the option username, which is the same sysadmin102. And it's going to be at, you can use uh, FQDN or you can use the IP address. Either way is going to work. So 10.13.2.1. And then if you're using the default port, that's going to be it. However, I'm using the custom uh, port, the uh, triple two. So I'm going to have to specify with the dash P. All right, and obviously it's going to ask you for the pass phase. And that's it. So that concluded the today's video. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.